Okay, here we are folks on a partial and I'm not sure if we've got uh, the uh, passing of uh, the moon on the eclipse there but we have a partial eclipse now because the only thing that is a full eclipse is what we showed you on uh, e eclipse 2012 on 2012 eclipse I was basically started recording and it was at a cloudy area and then went ahead and flopped around and thanks to my friends and gambling we got a nice shot of uh, the total eclipse and we also pretty much have evidence that in matter of fact I can go ahead and go to my videos now because this is the eclipse partial now that's going on somewhere around the Pacific Ocean New Zealand or something like that New Guinea maybe could be around uh, Fiji Samoa area uh, so let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about so we'll go back to the partial eclipse and basically I was able to use and I was uh, got lucky I used my mag zoom for the first time uh, and my new software and I found that and was able to show the spots on the and I accidentally bumped but let me go back so if anybody's got a YouTube account they know where I'm at you know you look I'm looking at my uh, video uh, viewer so what I'm showing you is the idea the actual factual that we pretty much have shown a star cluster because when we were at eclipse and I can just use the shot right here from uh, my viewer because basically I highlighted what I wanted for pictures and we should be able to zoom in on this and basically it shows more than likely if we don't come up with a CME what we have right here is a star cluster or star that we have zoomed in on down at the South Pole at Nehemiah Station and in this video here I can slide down this one's coming up here and I show basically the ISS station as a way of breaking itself and basically not breaking basically retro rockets back and basically stayed hovered over the area as long as it could for to watch the solar eclipse so they put the brakes on as, as heavily as they could so I used to zoom and was able to get some of the spots on the sun on this here because this was the moon eclipsing the sun then they had cloud covers at that shot so basically I was able to upload that and give you some footage there and then basically we get the actual factual that when we were at full total eclipse in Australia we ended up getting this so we are going to be checking the data to see if we have a CME now if we don't have a CME within the time frame of the Australia full eclipse then we know that we've got a baby star right there not baby star basically a small star a dying star possibly or a baby star that maybe is growing uh, but no matter what when you blow up the footage that I show you on this video here I'll slide down we see what we see down at Nehemiah Station their irrefutable truth that you go and watch this video here and you will see the star cluster or maybe it's just one star maybe we're seeing it wrong but there is a star no matter what we have seen the signature of a star we have proved that NASA was looking on the ground and thought that there was plastic and metal and I have I don't know why we're saying I'm saying we all the time I proved that they were seeing stars through this thin atmosphere of Mars okay now me along with other youtubers we ended up finding seeing the satellite deploy before NASA said that they deployed it they wanted to make sure that it was deployed and operational before and that's the satellites that were are magnetically connected electronically they're using the same electronic magnification that we know in our studying that people are starting to laymen are starting to realize that emits from the Sun and magnetically clings and holds Earth in other planets around the Sun in the Milky Way galaxy in uh, Sagittarius a is the closest center star in the Milky Way galaxy not the Sun so don't let people the uh, layman wise people think that this is a star cluster that basically more than likely is the same star cluster that we see at Nehemiah station between either that 
and it orbits the sun, or actual factual, there's a tiny star cluster and a planet between us and Earth. Because the irrefutable truth is in this video here. I'm going to go back to the eclipse and we show irrefutable truth and basically also in this video here, the eclipse 2012. Because I started showing you that the ISS station was pretty much standing still. If you watch the ISS station in the future, you can go to Heavens Above. And there's other places you can go and track satellites and track the ISS station. And I've proved it in this one. And also in this one that basically when they, they want to put the brakes on the ISS or hover, they can. And that's what I got. That one's coming up and it's getting loaded up. And I'll go back in the, uh, recording this partial eclipse and we'll see if we get any lucky uh, starbursts. Because more than likely, if I'm wrong, if we end up at the CME, I haven't even looked yet. But if we have a CME that popped at the time of the eclipse, then... So... If anybody wants to email me and help me uh, do some video work is the idea that I want to know exactly what time the eclipse hit in Australia. Because I wasn't watching clocks. I was too busy making sure I was getting it photoed and uploaded as soon as I could. So everybody needs to take a look at this video here because you will see the irrefutable truth that we have a object in stars between us and the sun. That's right. Miniature stars around so basically we have a star cluster between us and the sun because the sun when it comes up at Nehemiah station in this video here we prove that there's a star cluster and or minor planets because a shadow of a, anything in space is the same size as the object or smaller that's an actual fact and you can get that from NASA and I've showed it in my videos that's an actual astronomical astrophysicist fact Anything puts a shadow off the same size of itself or smaller in space. Reflected onto Earth, yes, something could be looked bigger in a shadow on Earth. Or with an actual man-made light, you can make a bigger shadow on Earth than what an object is. But in space, a planet on any starlight, i.e. the sun, will put off the same size shadow as itself or smaller. That's an actual astronomical astrophysics fact okay and it's beginning to be an astrophysics fact that we have a miniature star cluster and minor planets between and it could be a massive planet between us and the sun down at the south pole and you can only see it at the south pole the at the best seeing with the naked eye let's put it that way okay there's a great possibility that we can possibly see it around by the sun make sure you only look at the sun with uh, welding glass. You gotta go get go to a welding supply store and find out something safe to look at the sun with, the same thing that you'd use to weld with, okay? More than likely, this is a baby star or stars because more than likely we did not have a star flare. I basically, the sun is a star and we did not have a flare during the eclipse. If we had a CME, then they're going to have to prove that that portion of the sun, upper left, was exactly where the CME was at. And if not, then that is not a CME, and it's absolutely a star. That's right, folks. A star or stars, tiny ones, between us and the sun, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? And let's move back to looking at the eclipse. So very much important to watch all my videos. You're going to see ISS hovers there, and there'll be a part of the eclipse there too from New Zealand. And then this is the beginning of the eclipse, and I wish I would have got the first start of this liver, but it was so dramatic. I was watching it myself, and then I woke up and was like, God, i got to get it on recorded. So there we go. Ir irrefutable Beano Black. This is going to become a famous one because actually factually, and thank you to the Nehemiah scientists in their lab and everything like that because they caught it with their webcam, okay? But in the United States, being a US citizen, I have full right to share the news of anything, absolutely anything, okay? So there you go. That's right, in America, you can be a news reporter, ladies and gentlemen. You don't have to get a license to be a news reporter. Once they make that a fact, and they ain't gonna do that, and if they do do that, and the ain't is in the dictionary now, and I apologize for saying the ain't to my English teacher only, only to my English teacher, 
they can't get rid of our free speech in the United States of America. So you can always be a news reporter. You can always be a news hound, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. And there it is. Basically, there's a star between us and the sun because the sun, the sun is directly behind the moon right here. They did a solar eclipse today in Australia. 11 13 2012. And let's go back to the eclipse down in uh, the Pacific Ocean. And here we go. And as we get this, uh, I'm pretty sure that this is the partial and is the same as what I was before I started giving you the dialogue of what we actually know is going on out there in space. Uh, so go and check your CMEs and actually I'll be able to now since right now we got a little bit of time to go back. And honestly, we probably won't be able to totally finish this eclipse off. Now let's see what we got for footage. They just switched around here before I was going to click out. And I apologize for the faces again, and I don't understand why their toolbar isn't going away, because normally their toolbar would go away. If you if I hide my cursor, it should go away. And there we go. Finally, it's working again. So anyway, we've got uh, eclipse action going somewhere in New Zealand there to the left, and it's probably spread out along the area over there. And I'm not sure if they're focusing back into... Uh, the original eclipse footage from Australia here on this because it's starting to look like it possibly is so we might get a double shot of it I gotta turn on the volume and see what we got going on yeah this is a replay of Australia so what I'll do is I'll give you a dialogue and I'll save time we'll come back into this as they're playing this they're replaying this and then they had New Zealand down here to the left starting up Again, there over there in New Zealand, you can see the little green spot that was starting. So they're playing a replay of it. So I'll basically get back in there and show you what I mean again, live, full screen. So we're getting close to what I can show you here. And here, there's the diamond ring right there. Uh, so we'll come back here in a second. But that's what they call the diamond ring because basically you get the outside diamond hatch of the sun. And the moon is eclipsing the sun right now. This is the moon here and it's eclipsing the sun. And we'll come back. Here we go to total eclipse. And basically the moon is directly in front of the sun right there. And there's what we got. Okay. Now if you watch that star cluster, it takes off to the right. Okay. Because that wasn't a CME. Now that star cluster will go away and it'll come back around the other side. Now I'm going to watch the time here. To see if we can catch it happens pretty fast if I can remember I think we'll be able to fit it in I had three minutes of tape left here to show you I'm talking a little loud because I'm listening to them I actually should have turned their volume down but so basically this was the eclipse and you'll end up seeing the other part I think was basically when you get the shadow you get the to totally eclipse again for a minute You just saw the diamond ring effect a little bit ago when I was showing you the diamond ring effect. And then I showed you it going into total eclipse. And then I popped back in here to see this here. Because they're on playback. And actually, I can stop them. And we'll get, and I'll be able to freeze exactly where and save some video time. But basically, I came back over to my video, folks. So basically, there you go. And this is the what I'm talking about. That this is, we're starting to, I am really starting to wonder and believe that basically this star cluster that we have found, if you go down to the video that I priorly mentioned, irrefutable. And I'm going to back this up just a little bit as we go into, and that's what I'm talking about. If you watch that there, and I think we're going to be able to prove that this is not a CME. Now there's a diamond effect of us going into the eclipse, okay? And then we're into the eclipse, and I can scoot it ahead a little bit. And we get this here, and then we should get, I don't think, I believe, uh, no, I pass it up, and I'll play the player back, and there we go. And I believe that's that star cluster going around, because now I'm going to hurry up for taping reasons, because the idea that I only got so much time, should be able to find it in the window. And there's the eclipse, and then as I watch on the window, I should be able to see the cluster that comes back up. And I'm pretty th sure that I can put it right there, we can prove right there, that we have a, there's a cluster that rotates around the sun, it seems like. There seems to be the fast moving cluster, besides all the remnants, that moves around the sun. And there you go, you'll see it. Now this is an eclipse, ladies and gentlemen. But if that's not a CME, 
then that's part of the sun and that's where it's electrical motion.